love. So I very recently had the opportunity to participate in an event called Love It Forward. And it's an event that David Ziemba does out on the South Side. Um, and it is an annual event that is focused around love focused around platonic love and self-love and romantic love, like all of it. It was so, so beautiful as it is every single year. Um, a number of different facilitators get to come together and share different ways of expressing love, of feeling love, inviting people to tap into the love that is within them and express it out into the world. And I was really, really grateful to be a part of this. We had a number of different healers. We had uh, people doing burlesque and like expressing like love for their bodies and people doing workshops, sharing about the five love languages and talking about nonviolent communication so that we can, you know, bring more intentionally loving language into the way that we talk on a day to day basis with our friends, with the people around us, with like everybody in our lives. So that was really, really cool. And I was honored to be able to present and talk about consent in that environment because it's an environment where people give a lot of hugs also for this particular event sometimes it gets a little bit sexy a little bit sensual you know um so with that potentially being on the table i wanted to make sure that everybody was on the same page around consent and some of the folks made some really awesome um posters that i helped with that as well so that we could have some reminders in the space around how to ask for consent and you know what that looks like and i got to again to present around it at the beginning of the event and that was wonderful and it really shifted my thinking around consent because i was in a space that was so clearly steeped in love around people who were very loving and in an environment that a container really this event that was like designed by love and was supporting and promoting love and reinforced by love over and over and over again. And because of that, I knew that I couldn't approach consent in the way that it is often approached in our society. So in our society, as you know, consent often is accompanied with discussions of fear, discussions of hate and resentment, um, discussions of trauma, discussions of um, all these horrible things that have happened in our society and that is honest and it is true and that's valid. These things happen. And as a person who has experienced trauma, like I definitely know and like sexual assault, like I definitely know that these things are real and they can have long lasting impacts for sure. And I knew that in that environment, I didn't want to have a conversation around consent that was focused around the fear, that was focused around me too, that was focused around the have tos and the must and the rules. Instead, I wanted to move from a place of love, a place of joy, a place of honoring. And so the consent conversation that I had there was around encouraging people to honor themselves by speaking their truth. And if that truth was that they didn't want that hug, to speak that truth, even if they risk disappointing that other person who wanted that hug, you know? And on the other side, for people who were asking for that hug, I encouraged them to really honor the person who they were asking, honor that they were speaking their true self-love answer when they were responding with that no, honoring that they needed to take care of themselves in that way. And so that allowed for a beautiful interaction, an interaction that was seeped in love, that was surrounded by love, that was fueled by love, instead of one that was fueled by fear, that was you know required by law, like, one that <laughs> this yeah this conversation was beautiful these conversations around consent um and can be shifted can be changed 
to really honor the person. Now, these might not work in every single place, in every single situation, but I knew that here it would work, that focusing on love and starting the conversation with love would be an important way to do it, a helpful way to do it, because these are people who are so loving. So I hope that you are surrounded by loving people. And I also hope that when you receive a no, that you are able to honor that that person is speaking their truth and loving themselves in that moment. And that you are able to still have a lot of love and compassion for that beautiful, wonderful person that I love won't be contingent on a specific answer, um, that we can be grateful to be in the presence of beautiful beings when we are in the presence of beautiful beings, that we can be grateful to be loved in a number of different ways and respected in a number of different ways. So that was the thing that really stood out for me the most from this event. And I'm really, really grateful to have had it. And, um, that's all I have to say about consent today. All right. I love you bunches. I hope you're having a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye for now.